worked it all out today. We're going to start standing up. <clears throat> Reach out, out in front of you. Straight out in front of you with your hands. Make sure there's nobody there. Reach behind you with your hands. Full extension, make sure there's nobody there. In the meantime, by the way, you feel that pull in both in the front and the back of your body. Okay, so we're going to start by doing generating a little bit of heat, generating a little bit of motion. What we uh, kind of offhandedly dubbed the double pole exercise yesterday. So raise your hands up over your head, palms facing forward. Now stay in this position for a moment while I explain it. We're going to bend forward at the waist, swinging our hands down, brushing our fingers against the floor, bringing our hands up behind us as far as they will go, smoothly, gently, not forcing it. On an exhalation, all the way down, exhaling all the way down. Grab a breath as you swing it back up the other way. This is all smooth motion. Don't jerk your back around. Okay, so ready? Take a pretty deep breath, hands over your head. And exhale, swing down. Your hands go touch the floor, up behind you. Inhale, back up. Down with your own pace. Force that air up. Back up. Down. Up. Swing, down, push forward. Double pulling down those tracks, push. 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 Go body. Push. We were working on yesterday, Push. Couple more. Swing those fingertips, come on. As your back loosens up, one more. Come up, hands over your head. Bring them down in front of you. Okay, but he's warmed up now. <clears throat> okay, so let's start on the floor today. <clears throat> Have a seat. Bring the soles of your feet together. Place your hands on your ankles. Pull those in towards your center, sliding the backs, or sliding the outside of your feet along the floor. Pulling your heels into your crotch. Gently placing your arms, elbows on your inner thighs and the inside of your knees. Press down gently if you wish to achieve a slightly further spread on your knees and more stretch on your inner thighs. Sit for a moment. Except for that first exercise with the blood moving, usually everything else is done in slow motion. Giving your muscles a chance to relax, Going to that new semi awkward position, going as far as your body will allow. And now that you've had all that conversation, pull them in just a little bit more if you can. Releasing your hands, keeping your feet in the same position, flip your hands over so they reach underneath your ankles and grasp your ankles from the other side. Palms are now facing up. You're in the same position you were before. Soles of your feet together, knees out to the side. Now, hopefully when we roll back, we won't hit anything. Okay, so roll back slowly on your back, bringing your feet up. What'd you say? Roll back onto your back, bring your feet up. You're in the same position you were before, except your hands are now underneath, grasping your ankles from the opposite side. Okay, your forearms are against your inner thighs. Your head is up off the floor if you wish, keeping the lower back flat to the floor. And again, pull against your ankles. You may find that this position, you get them a little bit further closer, a little bit closer to your face. Or not, it's okay. Feeling the stretch, slightly different stretch in your inner upper thighs, perhaps in your groin muscles, all the way around to your gluteus minimus, gluteus maximus. Mm -hmm. And relax, let it go. Let your feet sink to the floor. Okay, let's roll over onto our stomachs. Flat on the floor on your stomachs. I personally wouldn't put my face down on this floor, but it's up to you. Just above the floor. Slide your hands back so that the palms are on the floor, just underneath your shoulders. Your elbows are back along the ribs, pointing possibly up towards the ceiling. Okay? Now, slowly, using your back muscles first up to a certain point, 
Raise your head, take it back. Raise your shoulders, take them back. And when you get to the, the maximum of your extent that you can do with your back muscles easily, push down with your palms, lifting up your shoulders, keeping your hips on the floor, your shoulder blades maybe together, feel that in the back of your shoulders. Your arms are straight, supporting your upper body. Your hips and everything else are on the floor. Feeling the stretch in the front of your stomach. Feeling your muscles bunch in your shoulders. And boy, are they sore. Take a couple breaths here, relax. And release back down. <laughs> Take a breath, come up on your hands and knees. Your hands are on the floor directly below your shoulders. Your knees are on the floor directly below your hips. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna do, we're gonna arch up like a cat. High as your spine can go, dropping your head down between your shoulders, between your arms, stretching your back up towards the ceiling, rounding over. Now we're going to flex the other way. A back bend. Smooth, gentle back bend. Letting your stomach and chest drop to the floor, towards the floor, tipping your head back. Now the other way. Arch up. Arch back. Or flex back. If you want to incorporate breath with movement, as you arch up, exhale. As you flex your back, go back bend, inhale. Do at your own pace, do a few more of these. You know where it's sore. Okay, come back to a neutral position. We're gonna roll our hips to the right slowly, placing more weight on our right arm, softening our left arm, Perhaps you can, as your body permits, you can get your forearm on the floor, your left forearm, or not. It doesn't really matter. Go as far as you can, as far as your body will allow. Tip your head to the left, look to the left. Stretching out the entire right hand side of your body. Crunching your left side. So are you supposed to be on the floor or up? You're, you're on, no, you are on all fours or all threes in this point. <laughs> and bring it back to center. You're now on your hands and knees again. We're gonna roll your hips as far as they'll go to the left side comfortably. Not moving your hands, not moving your knees, just rolling it over towards the side. Softening your right arm, your right elbow, placing more weight on your left hand, your left arm, looking to the right. Turning your head to the right, feeling the stretch in the back, your lower left back, top of your butt, perhaps all the way down your leg, depending on your body. Take a few breaths. Come back to center. Again, you're on your hands and knees. Walk your hands out front, forward, maybe, I don't know, a little bit. Okay, now come roll your butt back until it reaches your heels so that you are sitting on your heels, your chest is on your thighs, your arms are stretched way out in front of you, palms on the floor, head sinking down towards the floor, and if you want, placing your forehead on the floor. Feeling the stretch all the way from your, the top of your butt down to your fingertips. Perfect tuck downhill position. Very aerodynamic. Too bad we can't do this. All right, come back up onto your hands and knees slowly as usual. Okay, now I'll explain this before we do it so that uh, perhaps you won't have to be in that position so long. What we're gonna do from this point is do the downward dog, which is essentially lift our hips up into the air and we'll be balanced on our palms, 
and their toes. The highest point will be your butt. From that position, we will swing our right knee forward until it is behind our right hand, place it on the floor, and move our foot, our right foot, across our body until it is behind our left hand. It doesn't have to be touching it, it's just in that side of your body. And then we will come lying down, stretching our left leg out behind us. So we'll do this slowly. Okay, so go up into the downward dog, raise your hips so that you're on your hands and your toes with the highest part of your body being your butt. Now slide your right foot forward, dropping your knee down to the floor behind your right hand. Everybody got that part? So you're on your left leg, is still stretched out behind you. You're on your hand, your hands, your left toes, and your right knee. Okay? Now, swing your right foot over to the left side of your body, just pin it on your knee, so that it is behind, between your left hand and your left foot, in line with it. Okay, everybody there? Now slowly bend your elbows, and come lying down as your left foot slides backwards. You come lying down, slide your hands forward. I am now on my forearms, which are stretched out in front of me. My left leg is stretched out behind me. My right knee is behind my right elbow. And my right foot is approximately under my left hip. It just depends on how flexible you are. So you want to try to get your shin going across the Across your body. Your shin is going across your body it's to the pigeon. maximum that it can. It's pigeon. Okay? As you, your muscles release and you're, you'll feel that big stretch on your right quadricep and your right thigh, all of your right leg, you're compressing it, stretching out the back of your butt along your hip. Okay, come down even lower. Spread your elbows apart if you can, or if you wish. Bring your hands together. Perhaps you're flexible, flexible enough to get your head down and place your head on the back of your hands. And relax. This will feel very good when we come out of it. I don't have to tell you why. All right, slowly lift your head if you were down that far. Separate your hands, come back to resting on your uh, forearms. Walk your hands in towards your body as you bring your shoulders up until you're on your palms again. Make that effort. Lift up your left leg, lift up your left knee, I should say. Slide your right leg back. And now you're back in push-up position. Let's arch your back up, get that butt up in the downward dog, and of course we have to do the other side. Oh. So slide your left knee forward behind your left hand, bring it down to the floor, you are now balanced on your hands, your left knee, and your right toes. Bring that left foot across your body, so your shins, as Sheila said, that your shin is across your body, as far as it will go, and now slide your hands forward and your right toes back and see if you can come down on your forearms. Feeling that compression and stretching those massive muscles in your thighs, in your butt, your hamstring. When you're down on your forearms, if you wish to go further, slide your elbows out, bringing your hands together lowering your chest and your head, perhaps until your head rests on the back of your hands. And try to relax. All right, raise your head and your chest. Separate your hands. Bring your elbows in so you're resting on your forearms. Curl your toes under. Walk your hands back towards your, your body as you lift up your butt. Slide that left leg back. Ah. 
Boy, doesn't that feel good now? <laughs> All right. Let's come sitting down on the floor, on your butt. Ah, so we've worked the front a little bit, worked the quads a little bit. Let's uh, roll back onto our back. Bring your, the soles of your feet on the floor, the heels close to your bottom, knees together, hands down along your sides. Lift up your hips slowly, reaching them up towards the ceiling. Perhaps scoot your, hip, your heels in a little bit closer to your bottom now that your hips are up in the air. The back of your head is on the floor, your shoulders are on the floor. Your feet are on the floor and your arms are on the floor. Everything else is up in the air. Feeling the stretch in the front of your quads, in the front of your thighs. If you push up far enough, if you're able to get up high enough, in the front of your hips, your hip flexor muscles, keep your knees together. And take a few breaths. And relax it down. Keep your feet where they are. Lower back down to the ground. Move your hands away from your sides. Now walk your feet, keeping your knees together, walk your feet sideways, as spread them apart, okay? Out to the right and out to the left, keeping your knees and thighs together until you get to a comfortable, you know, comfortable level where going further might, might injure them or might hurt you. Okay, now that your knees and thighs are together, your feet are spread farther apart than your legs, than your knees, gently roll the knees to the right. You'll feel the left knee, of course, dropping in as it goes to the right. Only go as far as what your body will allow. Of course, your right knee will probably drop quite a bit further. So now the inside of your left leg is thinking about looking at the floor. The right side of your right leg is on the floor. You feel the stretch in, from your abs, possibly all the way down to your knees, along the front of your leg and the side of your left leg. Take a few breaths. Let gravity do its thing and stretch them out a little bit more. Don't force it. Try to relax your legs. Okay, slowly unwind, bringing them back up. Your knees will come back together again. Your feet are still spread far apart. And we're going to roll them to the left now. Roll them until your left leg drops down to the left. The outside of your left leg is on the floor or approaching it. The inside of your right leg is approaching the floor. And you feel the stretch down your right side, through your abdomen maybe and down the front and side of your right thigh. Relax. Let gravity do its thing here also. Easier said than done. Relax those big muscles. And bring it back up to center. Slide your feet back together so your knees are up, your, the soles of your feet are on the floor next to each other. Now lift your right leg straight up into the air. Bend your leg, dropping the right knee out to the right side, placing your right foot on your right thigh, or right ankle on your right thigh. I'm sorry, on your left thigh. If you could do the right thigh, I'd be really impressed. Okay, now. Flexing upward, reach your right hand through between your legs. Reach your left hand around the outside of your left leg. Clasp your fingers behind either your left thigh or around the front of your left shin and pull that right foot up towards your face. Actually pull on the left leg which will automatically bring that right foot up towards your face. Your head can be up if it's up. The, your entire lower back is on the floor. Take a few breaths. In this position you feel that stretch on the inside all around that where your hip joint is. On your exhalation perhaps go a little bit further.
and release it down. Again, place your knees together, feet flat on the floor, soles of the feet flat on the floor, knees up in the air, lift your left leg up into the air this time, bend your left knee, dropping it to the outside, place that left ankle on your right thigh, reach between your legs with your left hand, reach around the outside of your right thigh, around the right side of your right leg with your right hand, either clasp your fingers behind your right thigh or around in front of your right shin, and pull that right leg up towards your chest. One side is probably more flexible, possibly more stiff than the other side. Our bodies are not equal on both sides. Go as far as you can, work with the truth that is your body. Try to relax. And relax. Stretch your feet out. Okay, hands are out to the sides. If you can, form a T if we have enough space. Don't slap your neighbor. All right, raise your right leg straight up into the air. Gently drop it, as it's straight, gently drop it to the left across your body, keeping your shoulder blades on the floor, keeping your hands and arms on the floor. Drop it as far as it'll go to the left. Feeling a twist in your lower back, running up your back. If you wish a little bit more challenge, turn your head to the right. Spinal twist only go as far as feels moderately uh, good. Remember to breathe with each exhalation. Perhaps your foot will get a little bit closer to the floor or not. Bring it back up. And then lay it down on the floor next to the other foot. Like to the other leg. Other side, lift up the left leg straight up in the air. Foot towards the ceiling. Slowly drop it across your body to the right. Keep your shoulder blades on the floor. Keep your hands and arms on the floor. Keep the back of your head on the floor. And if you wish to go further, turn your head to the left. Take a few breaths. Bring it back up. And release it down. All right, let's roll onto our right side. <clears throat> In a straight line, placing your right ear on your right bicep. Your body is straight. Your left hand is out in front of you. Palm on the floor in front of your chest for balance. You're going to bend your left, your left leg, which is your upper leg, behind you at the knee, as far as it'll go. Reach back with your left hand. Grasp your left ankle. Here's the tricky part. Pull that heel up towards your butt. Try to keep your knees together. Try to keep your thighs together. Try to keep from bending forward at the waist. Try to stay in a straight line, pulling that left heel back, keeping your thighs together, knees together. And release. Let's roll over to your other side, your left side. Give them a straight line again. Place your left ear on your left bicep. Arm is stretched out above your head. You're in a perfectly straight line with your right hand down in front of your chest, palm on the floor for balance. Bend that upper leg, your right leg back at the knee. 
reach back with your right hand, grasp your right ankle, pull that heel up towards your bottom, keeping your leg, keeping your thighs parallel, keeping your knees touching if you can. Staying in a straight line. On either side, if you want a little bit further challenge, press that hip forward, the upper hip forward. And relax. What time is it, Gib? He's not here. 25. 25. Thank you, Dan. Come sitting up. Come standing up. Do a little bit of for the upper body here, a little shoulder movement. Do some shoulder rolls. Everybody got a head rush like me? Okay, let's do some shoulder rolls here. Remember, shoulder rolls, we're going to do them slowly. We're going to extend to the maximum length that, uh, that your body will allow again. So shrug your ears up, shrug your shoulders up to your ears as far as they will go. Can't talk this morning. Now roll them back. Throw that chest out. Me, he, man. <laughs> Lower them down as far as they'll go, feeling the stretch in the side of your neck, the top of your shoulders. Bring them forward, feeling the pull across the back, shoulder blades. Up. And back. Down. Forward. Remember to breathe it out. One more, up, back, down, and forward. Shake it out, relax, release it all, shake it out a little bit. I'm gonna go the other way. So let's start by going forward. Bring your shoulders forward. Drop them down. Roll them back. Don't force anything, just feel the, feel the tension releasing up, forward, down, back, up, one more, forward, down, back, and up. Release, shake it out. Raise your right arm straight up into the air. Bend the right elbow. Bend your right arm on your right elbow, dropping your right hand onto the back of your neck. Ooh, that hurts. Reach up with your left hand, grasp your right elbow, and gently, gently pull your right arm elbow back with your left hand, pushing your hand down your back, feeling the stretch in your triceps, and down into your armpit. And when you've gone as far as you think is good, lean slightly to the left, increasing that, extending that stretch down to your side. A lot of muscles in there that we don't usually use as much as we're using during this week. Come back up to center. Release that killer grip on your right elbow. Bring it down. Raise your left arm straight up into the air. Bend the left elbow, drop your left hand onto the back of your neck. Reach up with your right hand, grasp your left elbow, and pull back gently. Driving your left hand down the center of your back between your shoulder blades, or as far as it'll go. When you've gone as far as you feel you can, you can in this position, Lean to the right, extending that stretch down your side. Breathe. And bring it back up to center. Relax your hands down. 
Take a deep breath, reach up as far as you can, grab a ceiling tile, inhale more, one more stretch, and release. And it's pancake, sausage, and cream of wheat for breakfast. All right, thank you for coming. We'll see you tomorrow morning.